Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. The line 2x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 meets the curve x squared plus 3y is equal to 19 at the points A and B. The perpendicular bisector of the line AB meets the x-axis at the point C. Find the area of the triangle ABC. This is one of the more challenging homework questions I've seen in a while, and I thank Xavier for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To work this question out, let's sketch the line and the curve. So 2x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 is a line. Let's solve for y. We'll add y to both sides of the equation to get 2x plus 1 is equal to y. This is the slope-intercept form of a line. So this line has an intercept that's equal to 1 and a slope that's equal to 2. So we want to draw a line that has a positive slope of 2 that goes through the point 0, 1. So it will look something like this. Now we have the curve x squared plus 3y is equal to 19. Subtract x squared from both sides of the equation and then divide by 3. y is equal to 19 over 3 minus x squared over 3. So this type of equation you should recognize, it's the equation of a parabola. It will have a y-intercept that's equal to 19 over 3, and since the coefficient on x squared is negative 1 over 3, we know this parabola will point downward. So we're going to have a maximum value at 19 over 3, and then we'll draw a parabola that points downward in both directions. So it'll look something like this. Now the line meets the curve at two points A and B. So how do we solve for those two points? Well, we know the equations of these two graphs, so we'll set them equal to each other. Now we've solved for y in both cases, so we can set these equations equal to each other. 2x plus 1 is equal to 19 over 3 minus x squared over 3. We'll multiply both sides of the equation by 3, so we have 6x plus 3 is equal to 19 minus x squared. Then we'll bring everything over to one side, so we have x squared plus 6x minus 16 is equal to 0. So we can try to factor this equation, and we will get lucky. So 16 has factors of 8 and 2, so that works out perfectly to the factors of x plus 8 multiplied by x minus 2. So that means we have two solutions here, x is equal to negative 8 and x is equal to 2. Now we know that y is equal to 2x plus 1, so we can solve for y in each of these cases. So if x is equal to negative 8, y will be equal to negative 15, and if x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5. So we have the points negative 8, comma, negative 15, and 2, comma, 5. Where do we go from here? We need the perpendicular bisector of the line AB. So in order to get the perpendicular bisector, it will go through the midpoint of AB. So the midpoint of AB will be the average of the points A and B. So we can take the simple average of the coordinates. We have negative 8 plus 2 all over 2 for the x-coordinate and negative 15 plus 5 all over 2 for the y-coordinate. This works out to be negative 3 comma negative 5 and we will label this point as M for the midpoint. Now we need the perpendicular bisector to go through point M and it needs to be perpendicular to the line AB. Now we know that the line AB has a slope that's equal to 2. So that means the line that's perpendicular to it will have a negative reciprocal. So this slope will be negative 1 over 2. Now we also know that we go through the point negative 3 comma negative 5. So we can use the point-slope formula to get the line that goes through CM. So it'll be y minus a negative 5 is equal to the slope negative 1 half multiplied by x minus a negative 3. 
This works out to y plus 5 is equal to negative 1 half multiplied by the quantity x plus 3. Now let's say c is the x-intercept. So at that point, y is equal to 0. So substituting y is equal to 0, we can solve for the x-coordinate. So we have 0 plus 5 is equal to negative 1 half multiplied by x plus 3. We multiply both sides of the equation by negative 2 and then subtract 3 from both sides of the equation to get x is equal to negative 13. So the point C is at negative 13 comma 0. Now all that remains is to solve for the area of the triangle ABC. So let's take AB as the base and we know that CM is perpendicular to it. So the area of ABC will be one half of the length of AB multiplied by the length of CM. So we have one more step here. We need to calculate these distances AB and CM. We can use the distance formula to do this. So we'll first calculate the length of AB. It'll be the square root of the quantity 2 plus 8 squared plus the quantity 5 plus 15 squared. This works out to be the square root of 500, which is equal to 10 root 5. We now use the distance formula to figure out the length of CM. We go through these steps and we get that CM is equal to the square root of 125 and that is equal to 5 root 5. So let's substitute these values in. We have 10 root 5 multiplied by 5 root 5 all over 2. The root 5's will work out to be root 5 times root 5 is equal to 5. 10 times 5 is equal to 50. So we have 50 times 5 all over 2. So that's 250 divided by 2. And that gives us the answer of 125. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.